happy, happy Tuesday. Next, next on Married at First Sight season 13. They show some clips for the for the rest of the season and then what's coming up. So I'm just gonna do what I saw. Okay, and then there's another clip of what's coming up next. Next, I'm gonna have to do another video on that one. So be sure to subscribe, thumbs up. I am still trying to get to 12,000 subscribers. Auntie's advice will be over here tonight. We're gonna be hanging out talking about Married at First Sight at 7 p.m. Eastern, okay? Thank you for your love and support this month. Be sure to watch that video I did about why men must hold other men accountable. Ladies, do not marry a man who does not have another man that you can go to about him. Don't do it, girl. Don't do it, okay? All right, so first was the previews of the whole season that came on the middle of the season, whatever. So we left off with the men talking and the women talking. Uh, Rachel called called um, Jose Johnny. I just don't understand what the big miss. I do that sometimes my husband. I have a brother named Marlon and a cousin named... Um, Cousin named Mike. I have two Michaels, two cousins named Michael. And I have a brother named Mark. And sometimes I'm talking to Mike and I say, Mar Mark or Marlon or whatever. I just, why is <sighs> Napoleon syndrome? This is why men like Jose, you just have to leave them where you found him. You have to leave him. Okay. Uh, and Ryan, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, I love your advice, brother. But don't you think it was a little bit hypocritical when you were saying um, at the end that uh, you think he could come out of this? He just got to work at it because you're not really working at bread. Granted, granted, I know you're not attracted to her, and I just, I just, I feel like when the attraction is not there, there's nothing to work at. I do see what you're saying. So um, Jose, that he can come out. But I just don't think that, ladies, after a man abuse you, don't stay. Please run for your life. That is who he is. An abuser is an abuser. That's who he is. He, he's, he will never change. That is who that man is. Run. Then we see Rachel talk about she don't love him anymore. You never loved him, ma'am. You don't have enough data to love him. This is why I keep telling y'all ladies, stop meeting these guys, making them your man. That's my baby daddy. I love him. We gonna get married. You don't have enough data. You don't have enough data because right after this incident, Rachel, now you're saying you love him. So what happened? If you loved him, how is it that after he kicked you out and locked you out, you don't love him anymore. I, I'm just trying to find out. Okay, and then we we keep seeing them showing us clips of the big dinner. And this clip is in the next weekend for the rest of the season. And the couples are out at dinner, beautiful uh, dinner. And of course, Watermouth Dusty is the one asking the question. I mean, why does he have to ask all the questions? I got to rewind and listen to why you say, F -f 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 are you falling in love? I'm just, come on. Could you give somebody else the question, married at first sight? Mix it up. Dusty Gill should not be the one asking all the questions. And he can't even talk. But anyways, girls, cousin. And so he asks, are y'all falling in love? So Zach say, I can, he'll begin and he can see himself get in. Come on. Come on, somebody. Get in to love her. Daddy said, never fall in love. You know why? You don't have enough data. You learn about the person and then you love them. He said, I can see myself getting to loving Michaela because of who she is. She's a whole lie. You don't love her for who she is, sir. Stop lying. Ooh, excuse me. Stop lying. Stop lying. You love her for who she is as a person. This is who she is as a person. No, you don't. 
you're not going to love her, Zach. We already know, okay? But he did say he would definitely do anything for her. I don't know, Zach. I don't know. Last week you went over to your house to get your Apple TV and you 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 was tired to come home. Hmm. You do you uh, Hmm. Michaela said, I already love Zach. Well, we already know that, honey, miss. Miss, well, you know how I am. If the feelings is right, the emotions is right, we're going to get busy. Miss sleeping on men on the first. We already know, Michaela. We, you know, we just, we're just not surprised by anything you do these days. <laughs> Loose woman. Okay. So she said, he, she uh, already uh, love her and feel like they gave her the perfect man and she matches him and he matches her. And I'm like, in what universe? In what universe, Michaela? What universe are you talking about? Okay, so that's what's coming the rest of the season. On the next clip, this is coming up next week. This week, we see Merla kissing Gil across the bed. Oh, I just vomit. I'm coming with the kissing review. Yeah, how come you didn't do it? I'll do it tomorrow. Just been busy writing. Okay. And uh, Bao and Johnny. Oh, it's the one month anniversary. Okay, so maybe it's the one month anniversary dinner. Bao and Johnny is skydiving. Dusty and Merla is at lunch. And uh, the atmosphere look look like they're sitting outside. I love sitting outside. Her deliciousness and I went to date the other day. I didn't show y'all those pictures. And we sat outside. It was really nice. Like, my, my tomorrow, I'm going to ask him to take me back there again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, he's saying, I'm starting to have those good feelings. And Merla says... Those falling in love with me feelings. So you got to learn how to bat your eyes, ladies. We're back over at Zach and Michaela. And it seemed as if, it seemed as if they're in a group session, in a circle. Because first we see Zach saying, I feel like we're moving forward. Then we see Michaela saying, I feel like we're moving backward. And then there's an open clip of um, Gil and Merla holding hands. And then we hear Michaela saying, um, she wants someone to love her for who she is. You know. She wants somebody to want her. She want to feel love and want it. And she want to be loved for who she is. Mm -hmm. Then we at Ryan and Brett look like they're at a date, a movie date. I haven't been to the movie in forever. And Ryan says some days it feels like a week and some days it feels like a year. And then poor, poor, uh, I just feel so sorry for her. Lord Jesus. She is so... She is so absent-minded. And then she said, oh, stop it. Poor, poor. Okay. <laughs> and so in Ryan's voiceover, we see Ryan saying, it's not clicking right now. And it's hard because he doesn't want to hurt her feeling. I feel sorry for both of them. I like them both. And he doesn't want her feel and so then we see in the, the the camera that's in the ceiling brett is on the phone and uh she picks up her dogs and she's cleaning and she's saying uh things are going very hard for her right now we're back over at rachel and hosella and rachel says i just cannot have someone talk to me like that and now I'm thinking, is this my husband's personality? Yes, it is. This is who Jose is, ma'am. That's who he is. That's who Jose is, dear. Okay? That's who he is. Yes, that's his personality. That definitely is who he is.
Then he says, then he says, I get it. Are you going to ever get over that? No, we're never going to get over you abusing us, sir. How do you get over being abused? Never. And so now we're back at the dinner scene with all the couples and Bao is saying, I am learning uh, that she, she needs to initiate with her husband. Essentially, she's saying romance because she don't romance. She just get busy, okay? And Johnny is sitting there looking like he's, you know, like a little killer. And um, she, Bao is saying she has to step out of her comfort zone because that's not, but, but what, what is he asking you to do? You know, what? I just don't understand what is hard about being romantic. Don't you like him? Sit next to him, holds, I, I, I don't know, Bao, I don't know, I don't know. And in Bao's uh, voiceover, she said, help me out, please, throw me a bone. Mm -hmm. Johnny's voiceover, Johnny goes back to the table and says, Johnny says, I have a lot I want to say. And in his voiceover, he says, there's so much controlling, manipulation, calculating, and I don't want a wife like that. I've basically given up on these two. I love them in the beginning, um, but they got, they got too much problems for me. I can't help them. <laughs> There is another scene of what's coming up the next for the rest of the season. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Well, let me know what you think about what you think about the couples. Um, I'm just kind of over married at first sight at this rate. I'm tired of them with the same drama. I hope Rachel don't stay, but of course we see her smack because you know we don't want them to stay. But then there's a contract. If you don't stay, you have to pay us. So. She might be trying to stick it out. So let me know what you think. And what do you think about Jose saying, oh, are you ever going to get over it? No, sir. We're never going to get over being abused. I love you. I have to run. Uh, be sure to show me love. The end of the month is your time if you didn't do it this month. You know, I don't ask for too much cash app or cash, whatever, over here. I just ask for you guys to support me with my merch merchandise. I love you. I have to go. Bye.